Seen us trying to push that bus. <laughs> <laughs> 
state of Texas, right down around Pasadena, which is, of course, the home of the world-famous Gillies place in Pasadena. Uh, he plays the guitar and sings the lead in the alternate tenor. And actually, uh, he and Mickey Gilly went to different schools together down in Pasadena. <laughs> and every time we go on a show with them, well, they always talk about how they had such a wonderful time at different schools that they attended. <laughs> that's, te that's the Texas way. He does a great job, and uh, I know you'll enjoy this part of the program. A nice hand for Russell Moore, if you would. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe not all of you. 
<laughs> We're going to have a good time tonight, huh? Yes, we are. On the banjo, also from the state of Texas. Up around Arlington, that's the Dallas Fort Worth area. And uh, he's a living proof that cowboys play banjos <laughs> and football. Does a great job, though, and uh, we're proud of him. He's a good band to pick, and I know you're going to enjoy it. Nice hand you would for Scott Bester. <laughs>
when we were singing that he was humming along with us and uh, the deep voice that I wish I had. And I asked him about if he ever sang it. He said, yeah, a little bit. And we tried him out at any rate. And it sounded real good. So we went on down to Jacksonville and stopped him. You know, got a motel room and uh, cleaned him up and wormed him. And, uh, we out of them worm fields, ain't we? Just about. Uh, you'll notice that he is not like the rest of us. <laughs> Says here, uh, up there, back there, down there, out there. And let's go to the house. <laughs> Which is what we'd all like to do after about two weeks of, that we've been gone. We've got two more weeks to go. But at any rate, uh, he does a great job. He's the, uh, the governor of Swarney, Georgia. <laughs> Yeah, that's a long story that we won't go into this set, maybe later. <laughs> nice hand if you would, though, from Swanee, Georgia, for Ray Deaton on the left <laughs> And we'll feature Ray on this one. It's called Ezekiel Saw the Wheel. Ezekiel saw the wheel. He saw that wheel. Way in the middle of the air, Ezekiel saw the wheel. Oh, 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 oh. In the middle of the air, Ezekiel saw the wheel. He saw that wheel. Way in the middle of the air, wheel in the middle of the wheel. Oh, oh, oh. Way in the middle of the air. Oh, one of these days about five o'clock. Don't you know? In the middle of the air. Well, now this old world's gonna reel and rock. In the middle of the air, Ezekiel saw the wheel. He saw that wheel. Way in the middle of the air, Ezekiel saw the wheel. Oh, 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 oh. In the middle of the air. Well, I told you once and I told you twice. Don't you know? In the middle of the air. Tell all them sinners going to hell for rolling them dice, you know. 
in the middle of the air. He's Zikiu Saw the wind, saw the wind, way in the middle of the air. Saw the wind, oh, oh, way in the middle of the air. Oh, when I get upon the mountaintop, don't you know? In the middle of the air, he's a cute saw the wind. He saw that wind, way in the middle of the air. He's a cute saw the wind. Oh, 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 in the middle of the air, he's a cute saw the wind. The turning way, way in the middle of the air. Southern California. It's been in, uh, we were talking uh, just yesterday, I guess, to uh, Kim Margo Tennyson, which is my adopted home out here when I come out. And uh, eight years it's been since I've been here in Southern California. The last time I was here was with that other bunch. <laughs> no, country gentleman, of course. I was a uh, member of them for seven and a half years. And, uh, but uh, I hope it's not eight years again. Oh, look, I'm going to plenty about you in a minute. What did it just have at it, big boy? I'd like to tell y'all who the leader of the band is this time, if I may. Come on out here, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a Bristol, Virginia, and a Bristol, Tennessee. And, uh, yeah, y'all just take a little break. This is going to take a while. <laughs> And for a long time, they didn't either one of them claim him. <laughs> and he's got two sets of driving licenses. But, uh, yeah, I know, several reasons. <laughs> but now, Tennessee has finally claimed him, so he can vote now. And he ain't running for nothing. <laughs> Russell Scott lives up there, close to him, so if he runs for anything, he'd get three votes, I know. <laughs> That'd be all right. But anyway, when he started this business, there wasn't no expressways. Expressways. I think the folks out here knows them as uh, uh, interstates or big roads or whatever you want to call them. It's one that's got two or three or four lane going yonder way and two or three or four lane come back this way. <laughs> But anyway, when Doyle started in this business, they wouldn't have such a thing as expressways. Because when he started, there wasn't none. He's been around ever since kerosene. <laughs> a little later on, if y'all come right back around to the record table and get real close to him, you can look in his eyes and tell ain't nobody at home. <laughs> Smile, Doyle ain't gonna take your picture any minute. <laughs> His old head looks like he's wore out ten bodies. <laughs> he stopped on the way down here and gave him a whole new wardrobe. We got a, seen two flea markets on the way. <laughs> One yard sale. <laughs> but anyway, while I still got a job, and I know these people started me looking at them and eating up all the groceries and everything else. I'd hate to have to stay on another week or two. I better tell y'all who he really is. Y'all make welcome and give him a big hand, Mr. Doyle Lawson. I was brought up. 
up uh, in Tennessee, by the way. Born and raised in Tennessee and lived a lot of years in Virginia, but I am from Tennessee. I was raised on a farm back in oh, about 10 years old or so. Farming was rough back in East Tennessee, though. I'll tell you it was. I raised Burley tobacco, which wasn't a real trip anyway. And uh, didn't have anything to use for a plow to plow with. What's out? The only thing we had to plow with really was was uh, we had one jackass. You know what a jackass is, don't you? Okay, well, I didn't know what. This is horse country, so I figured you might know it. But, uh, anyway, uh, other than, you know, my brother, uh, that's the only thing we had to plow with. <laughs> and then he ended up joining the army, so it was either me as a jackass, so I wanted to. Didn't want that to happen, but anyway, that, that was the meanest jackass I'd ever seen in my life before or since. And always stepping on my toes or biting in the back or, or both. Real fun. Daddy'd always make me go harness him up every morning and unharness him at night. He was smart. Older than I was, too. <laughs> One day I got tired of him. I, I uh, saw my dad's axe laying there, and I picked the axe up. I put that jackass between the eyes before I even thought about it. Killed him. Dead in the wedge. <laughs> I knew that was trouble. I didn't wear the size harness that that jackass did. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mistake. It was a Daddy came running and he said, son, y'all not ever done that. One of these days that jackass gonna come back and haunt you. I never believed him until tonight, but sure enough. <laughs> there he is. He's back. <laughs> Enough of the foolishness. Give me a little water on the name of a friend and a little bit out the house. Here's a song we learned from a fellow that uh, is a French Canadian fiddle player and a good one. His name is. We're not proud, we'll steal from anybody. This is one we stole from Pat. That's easy for you to say. This is called Northern Lights. <laughs>
We're not keeping you all awake, are we? <laughs> Especially for them, and uh, also the people right down here that uh, were on the bluegrass cruise with us. Yeah. Yes, sir. we had a good time. Did anybody else here went on that cruise? <laughs> it was fun. Except when the captain wanted to go water skiing. Randy Frank is uh, also with us, a good friend of mine, and also a very, very talented musician and uh, singer, record producer, whatever. Al Perkins is uh, with us. Good to see him again. He, uh, the last time we saw each other, he said it was in Mole Lake, Wisconsin. That's like a bad dream return. <laughs> Mole Lake, Wisconsin is an Indian reservation where they have a bluegrass festival. You need to go there once, at least. <laughs> they specialize in uh, watermelon helmets. <laughs> Things like that. That's fun. It really is. I don't know what else is across the fence. I got about a 20 foot fence to keep the musicians in. I'm glad. <laughs> Here's a song from the Fuses uh, Out album. This is called A Vision of Jesus. Don't be alarmed. 
called A Vision of Jesus. A beautiful song, it really is. Uh, written by a fellow named Johnny Masters a long, long time ago. And I found an obscure record that my dad was a big fan of theirs. And he used to buy a lot of their records. Uh, either them or the... What's that street noise? They was a the Chetwagon King or the uh, Brown Square Ford. Listen to a lot of their music. And... Uh, my dad sang in a quartet back in East Tennessee, an a cappella. And a lot of the music I've done down through the years with uh, a lot of different people, including J.D. Crow and uh, the country gentleman. They've, some of the songs have come from my dad, most of them, really. Uh, All of my children home, uh, uh, just to name a few of them. When he stopped singing, he gave me all his song books and uh, told me to carry them home and learn to read the shape of music. So I didn't know how, so he made me sit down and learn. He, he taught me, really, uh, to read shape notes, and uh, it's been a big help. And we'd like to do a song now like my daddy used to do. And uh, when you look at us, you'll say, oh, my goodness, how come they're not singing all together at the same time? Well, we're not supposed to, but watch. This is the title of the new album called Heaven's Joy Awaits. We him down some more too, that's too much. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
Uh, let's see. We'll do a, do a song that's a spiritual number. And, uh, I like uh, a lot of different kinds of music. And, uh, I look for a lot of different places to find music. This is one called, uh, we call it, Miss Jesus Bear the Cross of Bone. And uh, we'll see if we can do it. And you can call it anything you want to because we really, there's bits and pieces of two or three different songs in here. But uh, if you want to offer that record, it's called Miss Jesus Bear the Cross of Bone. <laughs> Must Jesus bear oh, the cross alone? Oh, Scott's band to play. We don't have this on record. Probably never will do it. And, uh, 
this, the response is so great we cannot refuse. I'd like to do this for all the friends up in uh, Minnesota. Some easy way to tell him, but the words can help a broken heart to be. 
Henry was a steel driver man. A flat he was. He drove steel as fast as Scott picked that. It's no wonder he died in the yard. Here's a song we'll do. Uh, this was written uh, by one of my favorite bluegrass songwriters of all times. Sort of a dry spell here lately, but that's, that's okay. Gino. <laughs> <laughs> he, he wrote this and uh, thought he was going to be here tonight, but he had a ball game. <laughs> so he couldn't be here. I'll be true while you go. favorite country singers, and I'm talking about a fellow named Vern Gostin. Vern used to play some bluegrass, he loves it, he really does. And, uh, but he's uh, made quite a reputation for himself in country music, and uh, in the, on the past few years ago, we've done some work together, and uh, it's a pure pleasure to, to be around him, to sing, and whatever. We almost uh, got to record a record with him one time, and uh, I liked $500 out of my part, so I didn't get to do it. So. <laughs> I'll tell you the end.
while, uh, we'd been singing a while, and we uh, took it out of the show for a while, and uh, got some many requests, and we put it back in the show. So the next bluegrass record that we record, we're going to definitely put that on as one of our favorite songs. Russ will tell him about this. This is a song. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> this is a tune, uh, I'm going to play a tune for you now. One I learned from uh, Clarence Green. He lives in North Carolina, right outside of Lenore, North Carolina. Not really. <laughs> anyway, his dad was an old time fiddle player, and he passed down a lot of uh, songs to him. And I was over at his house one day. We were messing around, doing a little thinking and jamming and such, and I picked this one up, honey. It's called Little Black Mustache. do some gospel singing and uh, catch up on that. Actually, we can do anything we want to now. We never got your money. <laughs> Just to keep it on. This is uh, an Rockefeller song. We've got to do the special for Tammy. I promise you we'll do it. Four and my oldest was seven. My baby girl 
host on the show from us in North Carolina at the festival. She did her first song on stage on Sunday morning. Yeah, Russell broke the strings. He come in to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a song that uh, from the Once and for Always album, and it's called When the Sun of My Life Goes Down. to and from places, and uh, he uh, stands back, and the, the guy that you see running around with sort of the red hair and looking worried, and running all over the building and listening and carrying on and selling records, and uh, when you, usually when we pull into a park or a, a building or a concert hall or whatever, you'll see, he'd be the first one you see, and uh, we, <laughs> we will not take, really, a farm in Texas for him, so they don't have farm. <laughs> but uh, other than that, well, I wouldn't take $30 for it. He's a good man. Only this will make you feel welcome. Just put your hands together for Tim Ware, our road manager and doctor. <laughs>
don't get very far on a 20 miles in stretch. So we've got to do this, for, especially for Tim. It's a beautiful song, really. And uh, one of my favorites also. It's called Only God. This is the word. Here each day we daily travel. Record on the God, as a matter of fact, on a record uh, in the near future. I told somebody the other day when we did the acapella thing, we've actually got material that we could do another one now, but we didn't have enough grooves on the one that was just released uh, to, to do uh, as many we had rehearsed and planned to do. And that's only because we rehearsed so much in the bus that uh, when you work out so many of them, they said, oh, let's just do that one instead. <laughs> this is ready to do the, uh, the uh, primarily hot work on this. Ray, I'd like to thank you in advance for the hand it's going to get when you get through with this. Thank you. <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you. I'd like oh. to dedicate this song. There's a lady here from Georgia, and I have got a little bit of moral support here. <laughs> and she's waiting out next to the bus. She's going to get you when we get off the stage. That's all right. I've been about before. <laughs> Just kidding. I would. Seriously, I'd like to dedicate this song to her. All the way from Atlanta, Georgia, down here. I don't have. 
have no idea. <laughs> well, that's not fair how to do. Somebody from the state could only go to Vegas. Well, she didn't tell me that. Lisa. She's been down here 11 years. <laughs> what was her name? Lisa. 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 Say something to me, Lisa. Don't sound like it from Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. How long have you been out here? Either 10 years or too long. Take your pick. Uh -oh. 10 years. <laughs> California, you know. <laughs> you, uh, well, you, you're from Georgia, though. I can tell that. Not as deep in Georgia as Ray is, but then who is? <laughs> well, at least in an awesome <laughs> We do a lot of work in Georgia and have a good time. Because there's a supper club in Atlanta, Georgia, called the Joyful Noise. Uh, Christian supper club that we do. We've done it three times already. And back in there in November if you happen to be uh, home for Thanksgiving or something like that. We're in the first part of November. Well, call the Joyful Noise in Atlanta. It's a great place to go, though. We go in and uh, they feed you and then you get to listen to the music and uh, we do a, a gospel program. And uh, we have fun. Yet we have a good time. We have sang about what we all believe in. So uh, we're glad to see that you're from Atlanta, Georgia. And, uh, anything that you got to say to me that's bad, I'm going to delegate all that to Ray, and you just say it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Ray didn't uh, feature on I'm climbing up the mountain, children, because I didn't come here today. What a terrible course. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, you got to get out of here. Yeah, you got to get out of here. That's one of those L chords, isn't it? <laughs> Jim Walter Morris Quartet plays around the microphone here today tonight. <laughs> well, I'm climbing up the mountain, children, children. I didn't come here to stay, brother. If I never no more see you, I'll meet you at the coming day. Great God, I'm climbing up the mountain, children, children. I didn't come here to stay. Brother, if I never no more see you, I'll meet you at the coming day. Boom, boom, boom. Some say give me silver, some say give me gold. I say give me Jesus, it's precious to my soul. Great God, I'm climbing up the mountain, children, children. I didn't come here to stay. Brother, if I never no more see you, I'll meet you at the coming day. Boom, boom, boom. Some people call me noisy, I belong with the noisy crowd. Shout when I get happy like what Christians do. Great God, I'm climbing up the mountain, children, children. I didn't come here to stay, brother. If I never no more see you, I'll meet you at the coming day. I started out for heaven to Zion's land I'm bound. With Jesus as my captain, Lord, I will not turn around. Great God, I'm climbing up the mountain, children, children. I didn't come here to stay. Brother, if I never no more see you, I'll meet you at the coming day. Great God, I heard a mighty rum. It was way down in the ground. It must have been the devil, Lord. He was turning around and round. Great God, I'm climbing up the mountain, children. Children, I didn't come here to stay. Brother, now, if I never no more see you, I'll meet you at the coming day. appreciate you just coming around and saying howdy. And, uh, a few people did come and say, saw us up in Grass Valley. And, uh, we do appreciate it. Good to see everybody. Here's a song we uh, get a lot of requests for. It's called Old Prisoner River. Oh. 